The people at the head of our government are a very, very small cabal of individuals. And the person who appointed Richard Sharp, and who should be now reflecting very carefully about um, whether or not he did the right thing, was Oliver Dowden. Oliver Dowden was at the time the person, the Secretary of State, running the uh, Digital Culture, Media and Sports Ministry. Uh, I'm, I must say I had doubts about whether or not he had any um, competence then. I certainly have doubts about whether or not he has any competence now, but now he's the Deputy Prime Minister. It's disturbing, isn't it? And only the other day he was on record saying that he thought Richard Sharp's appointment was transparent, above board, uh, that doesn't look so today. Uh, he was the Secretary of State responsible for his appointment. He was the person who managed the appointment process. He was the person who said that he had every confidence that the inquiry would uphold the process as being the right one. Of course, he pointed, by the way, the other night to the process being correct not the appointment being correct, but the one implies the other. Well, the process wasn't correct. Richard Sharp was not transparent. And Richard Sharp is still in the job. And Adam Heppinstall, KC, is the person who uh, spent a lot of time looking into this, at the request, not of the Department of Culture, not at the request of Oliver Dowden and the ministers, but at the request of the shadow culture secretary, Lucy Powell. It's, it's disturbing the number of people who are involved in this process. You know, the BBC chair, uh, Sir David Clementi, wrote to Dowden to voice disquiet about reports that um, the government was in talks with the preferred candidate. Um, the former Daily Telegraph editor, Lord Charles Moore, before the job was even offered. And it still went to a crony. In the end, Moore ruled himself out and the job went to Sharp. The former boss of the current Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, who was then Chancellor, his former boss at Goldman Sachs. It cannot get any more cosy, can it? So Dowden was asked about this Clementi letter on Sunday. And he said, it was not true that the Tory party, that the Conservative Party was packing public appointments with its own supporters. But it doesn't matter, really, whether there's a reality there. It's about perception, and perception suggests that is exactly what the Conservative Party has been doing uh, in the twilight of its rule. And it comes across as dodgy, disgusting, and duplicitous.